We've all read the recent research reports that indicates that up to 70% of high school students cheat at some time during their secondary school journey. Recently, the CBC has also indicated that those that cheat in high school are also going to cheat in life. Now, obviously, research like this has significant implications for the post-secondary education system and have some educators on high alert, ready to stop the rampant cheating. Now, research like this can also create an optic for some as viewing the world as a glass half empty. I assure you all, it is not all that bad. Now, although I do not condone cheating inside or outside of the academy, it is important to understate the obvious. As educators, we have a wonderful opportunity to transform and guide the moral development for learners who are enrolled in our programs. See, for me, teaching parallels parenting. And just as our children didn't come to us with the requisite ad attitudes, values, and attributes required of society, neither do the learners enrolled in our programs on day one. Accordingly, as I stated before, it is a wonderful opportunity for educators to reframe and reshape the moral development for our learners as they transition to honest and contributing members of society. The last thing that we need to do as educators is condone or propagate a culture of slaughter amongst the learners in our programs, especially on day one of each and every program. Learning takes time as does parenting. We have to and must afford the learners that time just as we do our children. Now, I don't mean to go off on a rant here, but with the latest literature propagated and circulating about the cheaters in our society, I felt it important to underscore the obvious. We as educators have an understanding and a responsibility to afford those learners the time required to be contributing members of society. We must continue to look through the world as the glass half full as opposed to the glass half empty. That's my rant.